this is the Kindle Fire a 199 tablet released by Amazon. Uh, the interface is clunky. It's the uh, Amazon App Store interface. Uh, you're basically stuck on this screen. Um, it's got shelf views. It's, uh, it's definitely not as um, useful as uh, the, the Google um, Android interface. Um, but this is what Android or Amazon built into it. Um, you can download apps from the Amazon store. Um, but that's about it for $199, and you're severely limited um, when it comes to your choice of applications. You can download it. If you used Android previously, there's apps for the uh, Amazon Kindle Fire that you cannot get for the uh, uh, that you cannot download for this uh, device that you can get on cell phones and other tablets that run a pure Android interface. But with a little bit of hacking, uh, you can bypass this Amazon interface. All you really need to do is root your um, your Kindle Fire and sideload some apps to get you started. Here we have a uh, ice cream sandwich launcher um, on top of the uh, the gingerbread um, Kindle Fire operating system. Um, if you notice, there's widgets in, in different colors. That is the Elixir 2 uh, widget program. It can modify widgets and, and make them fit the 7-inch screen better. Um, notice that the background is not the standard Amazon backgrounds anymore and this has been fixed if we put the Kindle to sleep usually it would be uh, it would just rotate back to an Amazon Kindle uh, background rotation uh, but there are ways to bypass that to where if you pick a wallpaper even live wallpapers it'll stick um, notice that we have Firefox on this tablet uh, not the Silk browser that comes stock with Android, um, and in my opinion, works better than the the Amazon Silk browser. Um, the the Kindle is more than capable of of running a browser without needing to uh, depend on cloud storage, as uh, Amazon would have you believe. Also, in the uh, Kindle Fire, we have the Android Market installed. There it is. Something that you would not have access to normally on the Kindle Fire. Uh, very easy to install. Uh, you basically just need to sideload this along with a launcher and uh, an internet browser because one does not come installed by Amazon. You have to depend on the Amazon App Store launcher to uh, browse the internet. Um, after you make these changes, you have a very reliable and uh, cost effective $199 tablet. Um, it's quality made by Amazon. I believe that they build these tablets at a loss uh, to, and they expect to make their money back on the App Store purchases through the An Amazon market. But um, once you disable all that, you have a solid Android tablet and I'll uh, provide links and instructions on how to convert your Kindle Fire uh, into a pure Android experience if you look beneath the video. Thank you. Thank you.